Hi peeps, my name's Mark and I've got a new toy. There's lots of reviews on these table saws but I thought I'd do one of my own because I was looking for a table saw, nothing too expensive. I'm not going to use it all the time, you know, it's just for me and around the house and stuff like that but it's a nice bit of kit to have. So I found this really good deal on um, the interweb or the internet. Um, for a TS6521 set, professional table saw. Well, that's what they're calling it. I don't know about professional. Right, you see it unboxed, set up. It took me, what, less than half an hour to set up. It's really good. Right, here we go. This is a bit of a speeded up video of me unboxing this table saw. Just showing people you know what to expect obviously I bought this with um, some legs which come with the deal this table saw is model number is actually TS635216 professional um, yeah it's classed as um, a sight saw so you can carry it around weight wise it's 22 kilograms which is not too bad this is just under a say the weight of a bag of cement and obviously it comes with collapsible legs power wise it comes with a 1600 watt motor um, maximum height at 90 degrees is 70 mil um, and when you put it on the tilt uh, 45 degrees it can cut a maximum height of 50 mil I think it's pretty good you know the top and table is made of plate metal um, some internal parts and internal bodies again metal the actual main case is quite a um, strong plastic type material um, so hopefully it will hold up and it will do quite well obviously it's still early days um, and we'll see how I get on with it but you know I'm quite excited about using it you know it's going to come as a useful bit of equipment you know I've, I'm developing this property um, so it's going to come quite handy for you know those odd pieces of wood that you need to rip down um, and save you going to the timber yard and buying and paying over the price so hopefully it will pay for itself anyway hopefully this is a bit of a use to anyone thinking of purchasing one of these or something similar thanks for watching So yeah, so that's the table saw itself. You've got a nice push stick that sits in there. You adjust it with the wheel. You loosen that to get the angle of the blade. This is quite good. This is obviously the on off button, but I like the paddle because you could just press up against it if you want to stop it, you know, because obviously you've got your hands for the wood. So yeah, and there's the model number. You know, they're, they're saying it's professional, but I don't know. Made of plastic. It's got bits of metal in between. The table itself is, um, yeah, is made of metal, so it's pretty good. The side fence, yeah, that's aluminium. Yeah, it's not too bad, like you say, you know. And then you've got, where is it? You've got the obviously for mitering it's not too bad that's plastic itself so you just need to beef it up with a bit of wood right I'll just kind of walk around and show you the back of it so there's obviously where you can connect a, a hose pipe for um, the extraction has he got one on the side? no oh there's the handle you know for carrying it around Obviously, because um, the class is a sight saw, so you just unclip them and, uh, you know, you can lift them. Yeah, I think it's not too bad for the money. You know, I was looking around, but, yeah. 
it's all right, you know. And obviously, you know, at the minute it's only got a ripsaw blade in there, but um, this is plastic, so I'm not sure, you know, how robust this is going to be, you know, over time. But yeah, as you can see, you know, if you want obviously a finer cut, then you can buy other blades, but yeah. You know, it seems like it's almost in its right position to use. I mean, if you're a perfectionist, I'm sure you can fettle around with it. It comes with this mitre gauge. I mean, I don't know. I've seen reviews saying that it's a bit crappy, but, but like you say, you can beef these up with um, some wood. Obviously, you strengthen them up and then you fix it to it. This um, come on. This is quite good. Seems pretty robust. Again, if you want it perfect, I think you can go in all sorts of combinations, different sides. I mean, again, I haven't tested it out fully. I'm just showing you what I bought. It seems pretty nice. I mean, Bosch Professional Tools are always quite good. I've bought them loads of them over the years. But I think I paid um, just over 300 quid, so it was a real bargain. I mean, looking around, and people are charging four, 500 quid. So it come, what I liked and why I bought it is because it come with its own stand, which a lot of them won't you have to buy them separately. So this was like a package deal. Anyway, so I'll set it up. It took me about less than half an hour and I'm gonna cut something. So, I don't know, I'm not too worried. I just got a bit of cheap old feverage. So, You adjust the blade here, up or down with this wheel, and then obviously you can set the angles by loosening this, and then you just bend it over. So yeah, so this is pretty simple. <laughs> if you do buy one of these brand new, remember to flip it up, because the stuff inside from underneath, I don't know, I mean, if you're like me, you never really read the manual properly, so, but um, yeah, so to get this to move and to operate, properly but it's, it's quite a, um, a handy tool for carrying around you know I mean they say it's a sight saw but I don't know I mean I'm just gonna stick it here and and um, yeah not move it that much but I can pack it away if I want a bit more space in the garage so that's really why I bought it but yeah it's pretty robust the body's plastic I must admit but you know this is this is metal but um, the body's plastic, but it seems quite robust. So time will tell whether, you know, a few knocks and a few kind of um, years on, under its belt. Anyway, it also, yeah, oh, I forgot to show you. It also has this, you pull this red lever and it has an extension table, which is pretty nifty, I must admit. See that? Mm. So it kind of fully extends out, you know, obviously to get wider sheets in. I don't know. I'm not going to use cut sheets too much, but it's good to have it. I normally, I just want to cut wood, you know, lengths of wood to what I need and the right size, but yeah. Anyway, so going in the closed position. Yeah, not too much. I'm not too worried at the minute. And then let's kick her off. Let's see what she sounds like. Yeah, first cut's good, nice and easy. 
it's, I like the nice feature here. It's got like a flappy, so you can just press up against it and then you, you just knock it off. You know, you know with some saws, you kind of um, fiddling around looking for the stop button. Obviously, they've thought of that. But yeah, I'm going to be using it for ripping down bits of wood and stuff like that. But other than that, I think for just over 300 quid with the stand, it's pretty good. So that's my little review of um, my table saw, you know, another little tool that makes it life a bit easier. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the other side. Cheers. Bye.